All right, so now we're going to install VMware Fusion for the Mac. And on Windows, you'll install the player. But uh, I'm just going to go with the Mac for these tutorials because that's what I have. So just go ahead and run the installer for that. All right, we'll hit continue. Always agree. And we'll just hit continue because we don't have serial number. And uh, no. Okay, so it has installed, so we'll just close the installer and now we'll go to our applications directory, scroll down to the Vs. Okay, so we're going to launch VMware Fusion and it's going to present us with uh, an option here to enter a serial number. I mean, this is a bit of an inconvenience for a trial because we actually have to go and get a trial serial number. So if you click on Get Serial Number, it'll take you to their website, and you can click here to get a free trial, and you're going to have to register and all that fun stuff. Go ahead and do that, and make sure that you have your trial set up so that you can actually run VMware. So after you've gone through the, the trouble of, of getting your, your trial serial number and confirming your email and all that stuff with VMware, and you've entered that in, it will bring you to this screen um, for getting started with v VMware Fusion. Now, with older versions of the BlackBerry SDK, you had to set up, there was an ISO image that you had to set up and configure to, to be able to run the simulator. They've made this easier now, the latest version of the BlackBerry SDK. So if you go to your, your applications, Go to Adobe Flash Mode 4.5, go to the SDKs folder, open up the BlackBerry Tablet SDK folder. You'll see now that there's a, there's a directory here, here called BlackBerry Playbook Simulator. And if we just open that up, there's a whole bunch of files here, but the one we want is down here. It has the, the, the icon and the VMX uh, file extension. So if we, if we double click that, it'll automatically open up the simulator without you even having to do anything. It's already configured and ready to go. Nothing you have to do but open up that file once you have VMware installed. Um, so we'll give it a minute here to launch, to launch the simulator and you can see what that looks like. So we've got the splash screen here. Uh, the password to log in is playbook, all lowercase. Just type that in on your keyboard, or you can use the virtual keyboard here. Uh, click OK, and that'll that'll bring you into the simulator. So right now with the simulator, if you haven't seen this before, there's only one application on here by default, which is your browser. If we just launch the browser, you can take a quick look and see what that's like. The very first time I ran the BlackBerry Playbook Simulator several months ago, I, it wasn't clear to me how to actually get out of applications. You swipe from the, the bezel, this black area surrounding everything here is touch enabled on the device and also in the simulator. If you click and hold your mouse down and drag up, that'll close the application. If you go back into it, if you have multiple applications running, you can swipe from the sides to go from application to application, but since this is the only application, that it doesn't do that right now. But anyway, we, we can just swipe from the bottom, close that. And now, same thing for our settings, we can swipe from the top and set things, or we can just click on this icon here. Now, everything's already configured for debugging with this version of the simulator. If you click on this little icon here, this is the debug icon. It's, it's, it just tells you it's on and it 
get you an IP address, which you're going to need in order to, to debug and test your application with the simulator. The only other thing that we that's important to set would be your time. It doesn't detect your time zone automatically, so you need to go through and you got to drag through here to get to where you are. Um, I'm in mountain time, so I'm going to select that. And it's still a little way off from what my time is right now. Uh, quite a few hours, but looks like uh, looks like that's good. So um, it'll save that as soon as you exit. And uh, we're all set to start working with the simulator.